the Discovery Awards. Nominees for Emerging Professional. For scientists and innovators, I'd recommend pursuing your ideas. Alec Falkenham is a PhD candidate in Dalhousie's pathology department with research spanning from the immune system and cardiovascular disease to tattoo removal. Most notably, he turned a side project into the development of a commercially viable tattoo removing technology, exemplifying the connection between the public need and science. Mr. Falkenham's contribution to immune cell targeting in tattoos represents a significant step forward from existing removal technologies, with this work generating a global media storm highlighted by over 500 citations. While the product is still in the trial phase, Mr. Falkenham is confident it will be effective. Well, there you go. It's all done. Yeah, it looks great. But if it doesn't pan out, there's a cream for that. In his graduate research, he has received multiple provincial and national scholarships, including a CIHR doctoral award. While still a graduate student, he's an emerging leader in cardiovascular research, presenting his work on the immune system's role in healing the heart at national conferences and publishing three first author manuscripts while contributing to an additional seven manuscripts with three more in progress. So my PhD is actually in cardiovascular disease, influencing the way the heart heals after some type of an injury. And so our goal is to try to reduce that scar tissue deposition. Through all this, Mr. Falkingham has shown the valuable ability to translate knowledge between fields. His passion is geriatrics, and he spends one day each week volunteering with geriatric patients in the dementia wing at the Veterans Memorial Hospital. In addition, he is part of the new CARE volunteer program in the emergency department that focuses on reducing the risk of delirium in vulnerable aging patients. I remember in grade nine, my math teacher told the whole class, Nick will do things how Nick does things, and you can all do it this way. Dr. Nick Nickerson is the chief scientist at EOSense, formerly Forerunner Research Inc. Dr. Nickerson's recently completed PhD was awarded Best Thesis of 2014 for Dalhousie's Faculty of Science. Prior to completing his PhD, he already had 15 in-print publications, plus had his name appearing on two patents for co-inventions related to measurement equipment. Dr. Nickerson is the co-owner and operator of a healthy green tech company based in Dartmouth. EOSense designs and manufactures gas measurement equipment for greenhouse gases and leak detection from ground-based sources. The company has been operating for just over three years, doubling in size each year. It now employs a workforce of eight highly educated individuals, most of which were hired directly from local universities. EOSense has received various accolades, including being the only Atlantic finalist in the Globe and Mail's small business competition last year. We worked very hard at the innovations we did at St. FX. If you're not working 110% on what you're trying to do, you're not going to create a truly innovative thing. Dr. Nickerson was instrumental in bringing this national and international attention to the Nova Scotian business community. Under Dr. Nickerson's leadership, EOSense equipment is being deployed worldwide, with the company gaining recognition for its innovative techniques, most recently with an entrepreneur in residence position at the Surge Accelerator Program in Houston, which has helped make inroads for its products in the global marketplace for monitoring oil and gas sites. I've always been trying to find new ways to do things or look at ways to innovate, and so that has, you know, it stuck with me through my whole life. Dr. Natalie Rosen is an assistant professor at Dalhousie's Department of Psychology and Neuroscience and a registered clinical psychologist. Dr. Rosen's research is in the area of women's sexual health with an emphasis on genital, pelvic pain and sexual relationships. Upon her arrival in Halifax, Dr. Rosen was the only clinical research psychologist to offer expertise in genital pelvic pain. She is now a shining example of a scientist practitioner. She's committed not only to generating scientific knowledge, but also to applying it to work with patients and to the training of junior scientists. Well, the students are incredibly inspiring. They have great ideas, they're highly motivated. I also love the mentorship role. I see a lot of my students as collaborators. Her clinical research program uses novel methods to study complex interactions in couples where the woman suffers from this kind of pain. Together with her collaborators in Montreal, she developed the first couples-based treatment for genital pain, which is currently being tested in a CIHR-funded randomized clinical trial. 
Her research productivity is evident through 26 journal articles, 58 conference posters, presentations, and being the lead on 10 research grants totaling over $1 million. I think there's a couple of things that inspire me personally. The first thing is my family and my relationship. The other thing that inspires us in life is being active. We love to go hiking. You see any birds? Dr. Rosen has received several noteworthy awards, including the Canadian Psychological Association's President's New Researcher Award and the CIHR Bisbee Prize for her top-ranked postdoctoral research proposal. She also serves on the editorial board of one of the most prestigious journals in her field, the Archives of Sexual Behaviour.